Welcome to New Technique Wednesday. This is Jen with Jen Stan Art. I am so excited that you are here. Please say hello and notice that I am using StreamYard. So if you are watching me on Facebook, because I am live now on Facebook and I'm also live on YouTube, um, please make sure that you allow me to see who you are when you comment. So I would really appreciate that. Hello, I see some of our tribe sisters coming on. Hey, Miss Pat. Hey, Miss Cindy. Hey, Karen. Hello, Sandy. How are you all doing? Hello, Ms. Teresa. So glad y'all are here today. Do y'all see what I have in front of me and what we're doing today on New Technique Wednesday? This one's actually super fun and um, I like it a lot. I need a lot of practice with it, but I like it a lot. Hey, Miss Karen, how are you? Hey, Miss Glenda. Hello, Miss Ellen. Tell us where are you watching from? Hello, Miss Nona. Nona says she is anxious to see what we're doing today. All right, well, let me show you what we're doing today. I'm going to change the screen so you can see what's going on. Hello, Miss Denise. So glad you could make it today. And Miss Margaret and Miss Terry and Miss Martha from Alabama. What kind of weather is happening in Alabama? We are we are in the mountains of Montana right now, and it is an absolutely gorgeous day. I cannot complain at all. It is absolutely close to 80 degrees here. Can you believe that? I'm so excited. All right, so this is what we're doing today. We are, here's the things that you will need. So my first attempt on this, of course, remember, this is a challenge for me. I'm challenging myself every week to learn a new acrylic technique that maybe we can incorporate into our trod paintings. So this week, one of the new techniques that we're doing is learning how to make a foggy forest, okay? And the way that, um, or the, the things that you need to be able to do this is some type of towel. Okay, this is an old towel that I have. It's just like a, a, a washcloth, actually, from the bathroom. Okay, um, I'm going to use this. And I'm also going to use clean water. I know it doesn't look like it's clean water, but I'm telling you it is. It's just the bottom of the container looks kind of old. But it is clean water. Um, the colors that we are going to be using today are very, very basic. Actually, you could use any colors. But the two main colors are black and white, okay? Any kind of black and white that you have. I have a mixture here. I have one from Hobby Lobby that is a um, liquid acrylic. And then I have one from Blick that is just titanium white. Okay, so we're going to use those two colors. And then the, um, the th I just like to throw in that third color. Unless you want to keep it monochromatic and you want to just keep it black and white, then that's another option. But this is the color I'm using. It is phthalo green with a blue shade. So I don't know if you can see it. You can see kind of like a little bit of turquoise in here. All right. It's a really, really bright color, but I thought it would be fun to use that. You could use red. You could use yellow. You could use orange. Any of those colors will look really good. Okay, I used the, the phthalo green just a little bit on the bottom here and then a little bit to add to the trees. So have fun with it. Use some different colors and try it. All right. Also, the first time I did this, I worked on a canvas, a little 8x8 eight eight canvas. It is a, um, it's a student grade canvas. It has a lot of texture on it. You know how when you buy those canvases that are the cheaper kind of canvases, they have a lot of texture on it. It was a little difficult for me to really do what I wanted to do with the, um, with the towel because there was so much te texture on here. I did not um, gesso it. I just went for it straight, you know, just using the canvas as is. So I found it was a little difficult. So I'm going to go through what I did. And I'm actually going to do it now on a different canvas. 
The canvas that I'm using right now, I'm going to show you the, the package. It is a canvas pad. Okay. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hey, Elizabeth and Cheryl and Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. Warm, beautiful the past couple of days. Good. Mid-80s. That's where we are, too. I'm so excited. Miss Martha. Miss Cindy. I need a haircut so bad it's not even funny. That's why I always wear a hat. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm using today. A canvas pad. It, it is really, really, like, let me show you the, the movement of this. It's, like, almost like cloth. You see? It's really, really flexible. And I love it. Now, you know, they're not cheap. It's $8.99 for 10 sheets. So, I mean, you know, it's not really that bad. It's a 9 by 12, what I'm using. It's not really that bad of a price if you look at it because it's, like, what, about a dollar a sheet? But, I mean, you're going to pay that for canvases anyway. So, I really like it. It has a really smooth um, finish to it. And I think it will work absolutely great for this technique. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to put some paint on. Oh, this is not even open. Where's the one that's open? Right here. I need that one. Okay, we're gonna put some paint on our palette. Nope, this is not open either. Did I really get that many rows? Oh, oh, this one is open, just the top came off. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this black and I'm gonna put it on my palette here. Just using a palette knife to scoop it out because a lot of times my, um, my black and whites I usually buy in bulk because I use so many of them. So let me get a paper towel to wipe this off. Oh, am I echoing? Miss Jane says I'm echoing. Am I echoing y'all? Oh, I might be. Okay. Now, let me know if I'm still echoing. Because I had two microphones on. So, can you still hear me? Yes, I am echoing. Okay. So, I might have just fixed it. I had two microphones on. Good. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Great. Thank y'all for letting me know. All right. So, I'm also going to put white on my palette. I'm just going to grab a scoop of this white here. And I'm going to add some of that on my palette. Okay, good. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hey, Donna. Is that you? I see it says Donna LaCour. But I, I just, it just says Facebook user, so I don't know. All right, so let's go to town here. This is what we're going to start with. We're going to take a, I have like a, a flat brush. Let me go with this one. It's a little bit bigger. I'll use that one later. This is a flat brush. It's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the black and the white. And I'm going to just kind of make like a gray color. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I want the top to kind of be like, I don't know if you can see this. Well, actually, yes, I am going to go all the way to the top. I think that's what I did last time. I don't really remember, but we're going to do it this way this time. I'm going to go all the way at the top and I'm going to add like a light gray color. Put a little more water on my paintbrush. Get things to move a little more. So I might need to be a little more lenient with the paint to get more paint on my paintbrush and get it to move. And you know what I 
started doing that really helped a lot you take your little spray bottle because we're using acrylics and we dry really fast you know what I'm also noticing since it's hot here things are drying extremely fast and for those of you that follow me and know where I am I'm in the mountains of Montana we don't have air conditioner in our house because there's only about 10 days of the year that we would probably need air conditioner. So that dry air here is really, really strong right now. That dry, hot air. The next two days, it's supposed to stay in like the 80s, high 80s. So we're going to be nice and toasty. Isn't that crazy where last month we had 18 inches of snow on the ground? <laughs> What kind of paper is this? I'll show you again, Miss Jane. Let me um, let me grab it. It's called canvas canvas pad. It's called canvas pad. So it's literally like a sheet of canvas that is not, you know, it's not wrapped around um, a canvas board or anything like that. It's just a sheet of paper but it's almost like it's not even really paper it's almost like it's cloth like cotton it might be oh it is primed premium cotton so very interesting all right so i'm going to go about halfway down i guess that's about good and it's just like a light gray that i'm going to start with and then i'm going to switch my brush to this flat brush and I'm going to use just black. Okay. Now you have a variety of different options here for brushes on what we're getting ready to do. This is probably my favorite. It's called a dagger brush. You see how it's kind of like an angle. It's really, it's really an odd shaped brush. I really like it. Okay, this one is a number six, and I'm sure I got that one from Hobby Lobby. You could use a, um, a liner brush like this. Okay, that's really long and skinny. You just need something that can make um, really fine lines. Um, you might want to use... Doo -doo -doo. I was supposed to take it out before I went live. I only have about 1,800 brushes. Here we go. You could use a fan brush if you want, okay? You can use the sod. Let me show you that. I'm going I'm to show you all of them. So you can use a fan brush here. You can use like the sod of it to make your lines. And then I'll show you what else you can do with the fan brush. I just like a flat brush. It's just easiest for me to do. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to make some lines different different distances apart and different heights. And so basically what we're doing right now is we're making like our, our tree line that's way far back over there. Okay, you can make as many or as little as you want. And then after you get your lines done, I'm just using black by the way, you can start making your trees by tapping and that's when you might you know maybe you like a fan brush better so let me show you what you would do if you used a fan brush i'm going to kind of make the fan brush all um like a little, a little mixed up. Like I don't want it just to be flat. So you can use the fan brush. And you can make your trees like that. Okay, all I'm doing is tapping, tapping, tapping. Can y'all see okay? Okay, this fan brush is kind of wide. I don't really like it. So I'm going to go back to my flat brush. Mm 
I'm just going to make kind of like a bunch of Christmas trees back here. And they're going to kind of overlap a little bit. And we're just going to tap, 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 tap. I'm going to go a little bit faster because this actually has a lot of layers to it. I'm sure y'all can figure that out when you look at the painting that I did. It has a lot of layers. All right, let's continue to go on. They don't have to be perfect because, look, you can hardly see them in the background. See back there? So they do not have to be perfect. But what you do have to do is you have to let each layer dry before you go on to the next layer because we're going to be taking, um, we're going to be taking a, a towel and putting it on top. So you need to make sure that all of this stuff that you're doing right now is super dry before you go on to the next step. So I'm going to dry some of this faster by using my blow dryer. And to me, this is really relaxing. It's very therapeutic to make these little trees. Trees are one of my favorite things to paint. I love painting trees. I love, I love the woods. I love the forest. And I think because I have a passion for the outdoors and the woods, I just, I just love trees. It's just something I really, really love. That's one thing that Wherever we moved, I wanted to make sure we lived in the woods. I did not want to live out in like a big field or something. I wanted to live in the woods. So, okay, that's going to be my first layer. I'm not going to worry about, you know, making sure that they all connect or anything like that. So... Uh, Miss Nona, no, it's not. What's happening is I'm streaming to more than one place at a time. So because my live is being shown on Jen's Den Art, it's also being shown on Jen's Den Art Tribe, the Facebook group. It's also being shown on Jen's Den Art Mini Tribe in that Facebook group. So if you're not, it just depends on which group you're in when you're watching the live. So on my side, I can see all of the comments compiled from all of the different places. But on your side, it just depends on where you're watching from. You can only see the comments from the people who are also watching in that same group. Okay, so does that make sense? Okay. All right, great. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do now. It's still wet, so I'm gonna take my little blow dryer and I'm gonna blow it, blow dry it off. Of it. See, my tape did not stay right here. It must have been too wet, and I pull, I picked it up, but that's all right. Okay, now I'm going to take my towel, all right, and I'm going to stick it in the water. should be clean water, all right? I'm going to get it very moist, okay? Can y'all see this? That's what I'm doing. I got this very moist. And then I'm going to take some white and 
I'm going to get, now this is pretty tricky. You're going to have to make sure that you don't have too much white on your towel. Because if you have too much white on your towel, it's just going to cover the whole thing and you're not going to be able to see anything through it. So you kind of just have to play with it until you get it right. Notice what I'm doing. I'm tapping some of the white off of the towel so that I'm kind of not having as much. And let's see how it's going to work. All right. So I'm going in circles. That's still wet. So that's a boo-boo on my part. You see why it has to be dry? Okay, so it has to be dry. If it's not dry, it's going to do what it just did. See how it made some little um, gray areas? So let me dry it just a little bit more. All right, so now it's starting to look like fog. I'm not done though, so don't, you know, don't worry if it's not foggy enough because what's gonna happen is now we're going with layer number two. I keep on looking to, to uh, dip my water on this right side because that's where it normally is. Isn't it funny how you make this habit? But I moved my water to the left side of me and, <laughs> and I can't remember that it's there. All right, I'm going to go a little bit lower with my colors here. So I'm going to start making it look like there. it's kind of like hilly. All right, so layer two. I'm going to add some more gray, which is basically just my black and white with my flat brush. And I'm just going to kind of add some heels. Let me get some more water on here. I am having a lot of trouble getting my paint to move. I think I'm being stingy and not putting enough paint on my paintbrush, which is probably what's happening. All right, pick up some more paint. And it's just like a mixture of grays and whites. Okay, so now I'm going to go all the way solid black again, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make some lines, different heights. Let's make these look like they go like really high up. I'm kind of making them all the same distance apart, aren't I? Okay, and let's start putting our little trees together. Now again, you can use different brushes for this. Um, I just like the look of the flat brush. I kind of use like the corner of the brush to get that, um, that look. And I'm going kind of fast because I know we're on a live. But this painting, I wouldn't be surprised if you could spend three hours on doing something like this because you have to let it dry in between each layer. So. Yes, Patty, you are able to access 
If you're talking about the New Technique Wednesdays, the New Technique Wednesdays are um, shared in all of the Facebook groups because they're public post. Everybody, whether you're a tribe member or not, has access to these. So um, you could find them on Jen's Den Art Facebook page. You can find them on Jen's Den Art Acrylic Free page. You can find them on Jen's Den Art Mini Tribe page or group. You can find them on Jen's Den Art Tribe. And you can even find them now. I'm starting to, since I'm using StreamYard, I'm streaming to YouTube as well. So you could also find them on my YouTube channel. I'm not collecting the New Technique Wednesday videos and I'm not putting them in the tribe library. I'm just keeping them on Facebook. So if you want to find them, there should be a button in any one of those groups on Facebook. There should be a button where you can um, search for lives. There should be a button that just says live or maybe it, maybe you first have to click on videos and then you click on live and it will show you all of the lives that I've done in um, sequential order. Okay, you see how the, the top layer, you can tell it's like foggy in the background. Isn't that cool the way it looks? I'm going to make one really tall right here because I just want to kind of fill that in a little bit. My trees are not the prettiest, but all I'm doing is tapping, tapping, tapping. First Technique Live you did. Lana, the first Technique Live, that was probably the best one, huh? The um, the acrylic, what did we call it? Um, abstract Florals. That should be in, um, in the Facebook page, Jen's Den Art. So my Facebook page is the is where you'll be able to find all of them. Facebook page is just Jen's Den Art. And when you, you know you're on Jen's Den Art because um, the icon is the, the turquoise or the aqua blue round circle that says Jen's Den Art. So that's when you know you're on there. Okay, look how pretty that is. I like it. Do y'all like it so far? Hey, Miss Pat. Oh, Sandra. Gotcha. Are we able to access? Okay. Sandra says the linen absorbs more moisture. Yep, you're probably right. All right, I'm cleaning off my paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to grab my little handy dandy Revlon here.
All right, this is going to be super hard because some of these areas are a little raised. So I'm going to try to dry them up. All right. Let's go again. Same thing. We're going to take our towel. We're going to take a spot of our towel. I'm going to dip it in the clean water. Get it full of water. Grab some white. Okay. Let's see. Now you see how much more white is coming off this time? That's because I have more white on my towel. Look how pretty. Now I would definitely make sure that it dries more than I'm allowing it to dry. And notice I'm also going back over the other trees as well because I want the other trees to look like they're even more in the fog. You know, like I want them to have layers. So I'm putting a second layer of the white. And now you can see how the, the back layer is even like further away than this front layer. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I'm just gonna make a mess if I go any further. Okay, one more layer and then we're gonna do some other stuff. Okay, so let's go back to our black and white. I'm gonna add just a little bit of green and I'm going to add some, like some hills. I'm just kind of making this up. It's not going to look like, it's not going to look exactly like this one, of course. But we're going to add some other kind of trees on our next layer. And I'm going to add some green in just a minute. I'm trying to absorb all of this. Yeah, this uh, this canvas pad really, really absorbs. I probably should have put a layer of gesso to stop it from absorbing so much. Let me see where my... Oh, I had already taken my green out. Yes, I have my green right here. Now my green is a very vibrant green. It's probably, like if you wanna stay on the, um, y'all see how bright that is? Some of y'all might not like that because it's a super, super, look how bright it is. It's a super, super bright green, but that's okay. Because that color, is going to be meshed in with all of these other colors. Watch how pretty this is going to be. Let me get some more black on my palette here. The good thing about acrylics is if you don't like it, you can always add another layer. All right, got me some more black out. Let's go with, let's get more black going here. Kind of like, I'm just kind of mixing the green, the gray, the black. Look how pretty that is. My last layer down here. Trying to make some heels and I'm going to make them like come in.
Okay. A little bit darker. A little bit more. All right. Making the uh, the two heels that I made, trying to make them stand out. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and do another layer. And this time we're going to change up the kind of trees. So I'm going, I'm using this brush now. I really like it. It's, a, it's called a dagger brush. It's kind of like an angle brush. But one of the things I like about it the most is how long the bristles are. So you can add a lot more paint on to your paintbrush. I'm adding a little bit of water to keep it, you know, so that it moves easily. And then this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you again what we did here. And I'm going to start making some different kind of trees that are like um, just like some tall trees with branches coming off of them. Just making like some little Y's. I'm going to make this one go all the way off the page. It's no big deal that I messed up on it. I'm not really particular, excuse me, I'm not really particular about it because I know that I'm going to end up covering up some of that. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. Something that I've noticed about um, painting is if you don't like something that you did, you just paint over it. <laughs> My tree looks crooked, but you know what? That's okay because they have a lot of crooked trees out there, don't they? All right, I'm going to make another one over here. Need to do a house on a hill with lots of trees around and a gate and cemetery for Halloween. That would be cool. I like that. Thank you, Miss Lana. I am really enjoying this. This um, this almost looks like a, a you know, like a... a a nighttime forest. I'm going to make a few more trees back here. Let's see. Now I'm going to add some that are kind of far away or smaller. Sorry about my dog. She barks over everything. All right. Um, Make a branch or a big tree that's fallen. Just kind of have fun with it. Do whatever, whatever you want. I'm going to make some little trees back here.
I'm going fast because I'm in a hurry, but I think you get the idea here. Let's go down with this one. All right. Now I have to let this dry. So, um, let me play around with a little, little bit more. You could use a liner brush for all of this as well. Make a few little Christmas trees back here. All right, that is my next layer. I'm gonna clean that paintbrush off and I gotta let this dry. And we're gonna do, this is gonna be my last layer. Although, if you were painting this and you had all the time in the world, you can add as many layers as you want and make it look like it's got like, you know, different um, levels of, you know, mountain, mountain um, ridges. Basically. <laughs> Okay, now what I just did, I only did that because I wanted, what I did with my finger, I only did that because I wanted the, like the raised areas of the black to dry really fast. So what I just did is not a technique or anything. It was just me trying to <laughs> help it dry. All right, so let's do this now. I like the green you use. What green is that? I missed it when you told us. Um, phalo green? Let me look. Liquitex. Phalo. Can y'all see it? Phalo green with a blue shade. Okay, so it's like super, super vibrant. All right, I need some new white. I think it would look good even if you use like orange or red or something. I think it would really, really pop because, you know, you have like that black and white. And then anything goes with black and white. You know that. So, okay, a new part of my towel, I'm going to put it in the water. I mean, you could probably use the same part of your towel. I don't think you have to use a new part. All right, let's get some more white on here. I'm not sure if I have too much. Okay, now just go in circles. A little 
little bit more. So some of it might have a little bit more white on it, but that's okay. And you can even do this, watch. I did this on my last one. I took a, a clean area of my rag and I just, I kind of took a little bit off. If you don't want that much white, you can take a little bit off in some areas. Look how cool that is. Okay, so this is the fun part in my opinion. I am going to take my, um, just some kind of brush to start making my leaves. Y'all see this, what I did here? Just to start making some little leaves on, um, on the trees. So I think I had used, yeah, I used this one. I used this brush, which is basically an, an old angle brush that is not flat anymore. See how it's like got a lot of flare in it? I love using old brushes for stuff like this. Hello, Miss Sandy. How are you, Miss Tribe Sister of the Month? How are you doing today? All right, I'm gonna put some more green and I'm gonna mix it with some black so that it's not quite as vibrant. And I'm just going to start tapping. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at where the edges of my tree um, branches are. And I'm just adding a little bit of leaves at the end of it. You can put as much or as little as you want. I'm going to come down here. Maybe a little bit back here. And I'm going to come down here and do that as well. Kind of you basically have fun with it because this to me is an experiment it gives us some ideas you know you never know until you try and if you don't try you know you just you just never know so This is one of those things. That you just got to try. Go a little bit lighter. So I'm adding just a little bit of white to the green. Mixing all of those colors together. And just add in some more kind of like highlights on the trees. If you want it to be like a foresty green, you probably have to use like a hunter green or something like that. But I like this one. It's different. Let's go a little bit more white. Okay, not done. Now we're going to come back with the black. Okay. 
and I'm just going to kind of go over some of the black areas. I probably need to put more black on my palette. I'm going to go over some of the black areas that I want to come through just a little bit more. You choose where you want, and then I'm going to show you the last thing we're going to do. I'm making this tree come back to life. Just a little bit more. You might want to add some more trees in front, but I'm going to show you in just a minute. One more thing I'm going to do. I'm just adding some more. All right, you know when you see fog sometimes, the top tip top of the trees come through like there's no fog there. This is so much fun. I am so enjoying this. This is like one of those techniques that I could spend all day on. And you can change the look of your, look at those trees, how pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna change up my technique. I'm gonna use um, this same brush that I just used to make my tree leaves. I'm going to clean it off like really, really, really good. Okay. Thank y'all for the hearts and the loves. Appreciate it. All right. Take all the paint out of it. You might even want to use another brush because I'm going just in the white. So I want to make sure that the brush that I'm using has just white on it. And I'm going to almost do like a dry brush. I'm hardly going to have any paint on it, but it's going to be just white. I'm kind of drying it on, on the, um, I just, I don't want it to be too wet. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to make those foggy clouds just in some areas, watch. The 
the misty, misty clouds are coming through. And you can see like the top, they're poking through there. I feel like I want just a little bit more white in the painting. I feel like it's like super, super dark. It's a lot darker than my first one. You can see how up here it was it was um, a little bit lighter. But maybe you like that. Maybe it's like a story night. Now that's a that's probably too much white right there, but. You can spread it out. Let me take some off. I like it. I think it looks super cool. So, what do y'all think? Let's take off the paper. That's always the best part. I mean the tape. Let's take off the tape. Let's see how it looks. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. The Misty Forest. You can just keep on going with more layers. If you don't like it, you can just keep on going with more layers. Look how pretty. I really like it. I think I went a little bit overboard with the last the last layer. So what I might do um, is once I take a step back and look at it for a while, I might add one more layer to to kind of hide like a little bit of this. Let me show you what I'm talking about because I feel like I went a little bit too overboard. So I would do a little bit more black and add like another layer like this. Okay, so I feel like like right here is there's too much white. So I would come back and I would just add some more trees. And I would say, okay, I'm gonna make this pop just a little bit more. So here's another layer of trees to make our life happy again and we can add one right here so no no fret it all works out you can just add more trees and it all kind of fixes itself see and make this tree come down even further. See, you can make it work. Even though I put too much, like I said, I feel like I put just a little bit too much white that last layer, I can come back and I can make it pop again. So how much fun is that? I love it. 
And you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't mind trying it with other colors. Of course, the black and white is a staple, but instead of the green, maybe some red or orange or something like that. And um, you can have a lot of fun with it. I see right here, I would add, now I'm just having fun. I would probably make this like a bush because this is my poor um, fan brush. I let it dry with that paint on it. I'm gonna have to get it, make it come back to life. I would come right here and add something in front of this right here. Just maybe some, some fun right there. And again, right here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. See, kind of give it a little bit more, like focus your attention in the middle. Cool. I like it. <laughs> You're still working on the pelican, Sandy? That's quite all right. Y'all saw how I changed my pelican up, huh? I think I showed y'all that in the tribe. Is it Heidi? Yay. Actually, this is a technique that I would not mind spending more time getting better at it because I really like it as well. I love the old misty forest with the trees coming through. It's just one of my favorite things. It just reminds me of the mountains. So I hope y'all enjoyed. This was super fun. And I'm so glad that y'all came today and had some fun with me. Remember, we are painting this in the mini tribe on Sunday. We're starting Sunday. So tribe members, mystical reminds me of Smoky Mountains. Absolutely, Amy. You are so right. Um, we're painting this in the mini tribe which is $15 a month, and that's open all the time. You get one painting per month, and we're painting this in the Tribe, which is our first painting of June, and we have four more paintings after that as well. So, um, so yeah, if you want to paint this with us, join the Mini Tribe for $15. The link is at the top, and I'm so glad y'all were here. Thank y'all all for coming. And I will see you next time on New Technique Wednesday. Bye, y'all. Have a great day.